Don't you wish you could hold on to your youth forever? Our 20s, 30s, and even 40s are years that our bodies didn't feel like traitors and growing older wasn't frightening. But as we approach 50, it's like you're a tenant in another person's body because this one sure doesn't feel like yours. Don't fret. You can take control of your body, even in your 50s, so you can hang on a little longer to your better past years. In today's video, you'll learn how to get this by staying away from certain foods that fight against you looking and feeling fit. Stay right on to the end and learn about the secret foods working against you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the button to get connected to a supply of health tips to help you achieve your health goals. Here are the eight foods you should not eat after clocking 50. What happens to women who take these foods is worse than what happens to men who do. Stick around to find out why this is so. Number eight, low fat or fat free products. Hear me out. Products advertised as low fat or fat free are almost as dangerous as consuming the ones left with all the fats in them. How so? Low fat products exchange high fat for extra sugar. See what they did there? It's just a marketing technique mostly. You're avoiding fat and running right into grams of sugar with a destination to obesity and diabetes. In fact, when fat is removed from certain foods, essential nutrients go away too. So it's like a lose-lose situation. Better to avoid it completely. However, there are some low-fat products that are clear and good for consumption. If you have to purchase one, Look at the labels carefully to be sure a switch between fat and sugar is not happening. Number seven, soda. This is difficult to say, but true. Soda is one of the foods you would have to say goodbye to. Surely, missing the refreshing feeling of a cool can of soda after a long day is a small price to pay for good health. Did you know drinking just soda doesn't make you any better than those who take alcohol. You'll learn why shortly. The volume of sugar content in sodas is terribly frightening. Such high sugar levels are a contributing factor to diabetes. There are more points to sugar's score too. Heart issues, dehydration, calcium reduction, and rapid aging are problems associated with sugar intake. To top it off, there isn't any reasonable benefit in taking soda. You might as well be drinking ash. In other words, you're all right without it. According to the National Institute of Health, consuming soda as part of your diet will make you add weight, give you heart problems, and increase your blood pressure to problematic levels. And the name on the drink hardly changes the sugar content in your drinks. Low sugar, zero sugar, diet, pure, refined, all contain sugar and sugar is sugar. Ultimately, excess sugar will put stress on the pancreas and liver, which could result in fatty liver disease. Feeling thirsty? Have plain old water. You can't ever go wrong with that. Number six, fast food. Hey, don't go away just yet. I know it sounds impossible to do away with fast food, but it'd be the best decision your body will forever appreciate you for taking. Fast food has a record high in calories. The kinds that aren't friendly to your body. They are full of saturated fats, cholesterol, and sodium, all of which contribute to weakened immunity, mood, and memory issues. Women especially are advised to stay away from fast food because they are at a higher risk of having health problems related to food because of estrogen loss after menopause. Cutting back on calories by 200 does a lot of good for women. Here's a breakdown of recommended calorie intake per day for adults over 50. Women, not physically active, 1,600 calories per day. Women moderately active, 1,800 calories per day. And women with an active lifestyle, 2,000 to 2,200 calories per day. For men, not physically active, 2,000 calories per day. For men moderately active, 2,200 to 2,400 calories per day. And for men with an active lifestyle, 
2,400 to 2,800 calories per day. Reducing the rate one eats takeouts can make a huge difference to your body. Buy fresh whole foods rich in nutrients and antioxidants to prepare at home. Number five, processed meats. If you are not vegetarian, you can understand very well how meat, when processed, is one of nature's best gifts to man. Sausages, hot dogs, and deli meats are simply so good. How do you think processed meats are dangerous for you? They're proteinous after all, right? As we grow older, these once friendly, delicious goodness now cause more harm to our bodies. Processed meats contain saturated fats, sodium, and nitrates, which are known to increase the chance of getting cancer. Sodium nitrate, which is used as an additive in processed meat products to preserve the color of the meat, improve flavor and prevent the growth of bacteria, results in the production of N-nitroso compounds, which cause cancer. A number of studies have found links between processed meats and various forms of cancer, as well as heart disease and diabetes. Another current study at Harvard found that there could be a link between an increased intake of processed meats and a higher risk of chronic diseases and mortality. Some chronic diseases associated with the consumption of processed meats include high blood pressure, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and bowel and stomach cancer. Instead of processed meats, opt for fresh lean meats like chicken, turkey, fish, eggs, or tofu. Number four, canned soup. Canned soups contain high sodium, which increases one's blood pressure, leading to a high risk of kidney disease, heart disease, and stroke. High blood pressure is a common problem faced by many older people, and being on medication doesn't permit one to be careless about their salt intake. Canned items are loaded up with dissolved salt, which is bad news for you. Reducing the intake of sodium can improve one's quality of life in general. High salt content is not the only problem of canned foods, too. Bisphenol A, BPA, a chemical often used in canned food packaging, can be consumed by human when it mixes with the food. Human studies have linked BPA to health problems such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and male sexual dysfunction. Number three, white bread and pasta. Now what could be wrong with these foods? These household staples wreak havoc on our sugar levels for one. They are a high glycemic index and cause your cholesterol to spike, destabilizing your hunger alarm button and also leading to insulin resistance. Bread and pasta are both high in carbohydrates which can be converted to sugar and stored as body fat in the body. The refined grains used in making bread and pasta are usually difficult to digest by some people and thus lead to bloating, gas, and other digestive problems. Substitute bread and pasta with whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, or lean protein sources. Only whole grains, not refined or processed, help regulate glucose levels, strengthen the immune system, and aid digestion. Number two, alcohol. No surprise alcohol found its way on the list. What were we expecting from something capable of making you feel like crap when you wake up hours after feeling absolutely great? As we get older, the more alcohol we consume harms our organs. The steadily worsening hangovers are clear pointers to this fact. Alcohol contains as many calories as a can of soda, high fat, and high sugar. According to the National Institute of Aging, alcohol is involved in some 40% of burns and accidents that occur in the elderly. This is because alcohol takes a longer time to metabolize, meaning that the drunken feeling lasts longer. According to the World Health Organization, drinking alcohol is associated with a risk of developing health problems such as mental and behavioral disorders, including alcohol dependence and major non-communicable diseases, such as liver cirrhosis, some cancers, and cardiovascular diseases. Continued intake of alcohol can lead to an alcohol-related accident catching up to you. When next you visit a bar, take a non-alcoholic beverage and painfully lust after the youths getting drunk around you.
Number one, fried foods. Let's see how this all-time favorite food landed on the list of foods to avoid. It hurts, but fried foods are just not good for you the older you become. Fried foods are high in fat and salt, and these two combinations can lead to serious health challenges. Frying as a method of cooking increases calorie content up to three times the original. As we grow older, our bodies have a hard time catching up with fat conversion. According to WebMD, the body stores more fat and loses muscle post-50 due to hormonal changes. Our cells become less efficient at burning fat and very good at holding on to it. This is why both men and women are more vulnerable to weight gain post-50. The reduced metabolism, a decline in the mass of our muscles and reduced hormones, make it much easier to add weight compared to when you were younger and could eat slice after slice of pizza without a single care about the size of your waistline. Managing our health in later years can be a real challenge. To be as healthy as possible, you'll be making changes from a lifestyle you are clearly in tune with to one that's unfamiliar and not very pleasant. But being healthy is achievable if you can discipline yourself enough and follow some diet and exercise plan. You can start with this video and also consult your healthcare provider. Remember to follow this channel where we help you achieve your health goals and see that being healthy is attainable. Thanks for watching.